Now using the app makes adjusting the saber a whole lot easier because you can do everything faster. And so we're gonna connect the app. App connected. And then this allows us from the app to power it on, power it off, all right? So headphones warning in three, two, one. And now I can adjust the volume. And so it's gonna have a slider where I can go from zero to 100%. So if we wanna mute it. Mute, volume level 19%, volume level 61%. Okay, now let's try what, let's see what happens if we mute it again. Mute. Volume level, 55%. There we go, my, my touch screen was being goofy, now we got it fixed. All right, and now the font select. And so on this one, there are 34. Moonfield. Moonfield is the Sailor Moon. Whispers of power. Whispers of power. And this one's got that like rich bass kind of sound to it. This is a really good one. And so on. Now, I can do my lockup effect. I can do a blaster effect. And then this is a force sound. Okay. And then the flash on clash. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to take our volume down just a little bit more. And now some other really cool things that we can do with the app. So I can adjust the blade length. And so you can see my emitter here. The tip is just a little bit out of screen. But as I slide this. And so you see the blade now is this long. And so what I can then do rather than having to code how many pixels to light, I can just on a slider here on the app, extend it a little bit, extend it a little bit until I get all the way to the tip. And then if I wanna activate my tip drag, now this is just a little bit too bright to show it on the screen, unfortunately, but it gives you that drag effect on your tip. Now, I can also adjust the brightness. And so right now it's at 100 for this color. If I bring it all the way down, then I get a much different sort of light and it's got a much darker appearance. And you can see how this films that I get that, um, uh, it sort of changes the hue a little bit in terms of how our eyes see it. You can also see that the, the reflection on my face, the light on my face is way different. If I take this all the way down, this is 1%. And so again, you get like a, you get a very dark color. It, it, it feels really cool. And now we take this all the way up. That's full brightness. You can see it on my face. This is all the way down to 1%. And so every color I can now modify in this way. Okay, now. Doo, doo, doo. And so I can adjust my flash on class sensitivity if I don't want it to function at all. Slide it all the way down. Right now, flash on class is at zero. So it won't matter how hard I hit this, it's not going to happen. Or I can put it all the way up, and then while I'm swinging it, I'm going to have a lot of trouble with it activating on me, like right there. I'm going to take that down just a little bit. Okay, now. I can also adjust the motion control for whether the push and pull works and the twist and so forth and adjust the sensitivity so that it's where I want it to be. And where's color? Here we go. Now, let's. I'm gonna switch this to a white. Uh, so quick color settings. And once we get to white, then I'm gonna be able to show you the brightness in a really cool way. All right, and so now we have one of the, the whites, the white settings. And as I take the brightness down, you can see now we've got something that's a little bit 
more on the bluer side. And so as I go through my color change yet again, here, let's just, we'll, we'll wrap it, get it to, oh, come on. Come on. There we go. All right, and so now we've got the white all the way down and you can see that this gives us something that is almost gray. Um, uh, and it gives you, visually it gives you this sort of look almost like the light's kind of getting pulled into it, which is pretty cool. Now I still can't do something like, um, I want to say Force Unleashed had something where it was like basically like a black core with a white outline. Um, just because this has to emit 360, it can't emit just on the ends. There's not there's not a way for this to do that, but it's still pretty awesome. And now we take the brightness back up, and I can set that. I can I can tune it to what I want it to be, and that that gives me a lot more flexibility in terms of um, what I can do with the saber for cosplay, for um, if I'm filming for TikTok, YouTube, whatever, um, all those things. And so I'm really excited about the app. You can officially download it now. And this is just kind of a quick through of some of the, the things that it can do. Um, the app is still in beta. So a lot of the user interface and stuff is gonna, it's like little changes and tweaks and things like that are gonna happen. Um, uh, it also has, it also has a battery meter. It also has something that um, gives you sort of an estimate of how long you're gonna be able to run it at the settings that you have. So like right now, I'm at about 70%. If I turn my brightness way down, oh wait, yeah, if I turn my brightness way down, there we go, um, then that's gonna adjust, as it catches up, that's gonna adjust my runtime because it's gonna take less power for it to do the thing. Um, and then this is also going to be ultimately where you can input um, custom sound fonts and functions and things like that. Uh, and then if you have multiple sabers, you can individually control them. So like right now, I've got three different electronics that are recognized by my app so that I can um, cycle between different sabers to get different things if I need to. But there it is. The new Xeno configurator. It's going to be pretty cool. Um, what this gives us at, especially at the price point of these savers and everything else, very exciting.